All right, welcome to the Choppable Trees project. In this project, we have a procedural tree mesh that you can slice with your axe, both horizontally, and once it's chopped down, it will also slice vertically into small logs, which then the player can pick up and use as resources. I'll walk you through some of the features and just showcase how it works. Uh, let's get started. All right, so left click chops the tree see if there's a little decal and some splinter effects branches dither you chop these logs and smaller log slices give you smaller amounts of wood and if the log is too big you can't pick it up and all these values are adjustable so let's pick this up and that up I don't think that's yeah it's still too big to pick up so you give it one more chop oh I missed one more time there we go and the item collider doesn't spawn in for a little bit in case you're on a hill there's a timer delay so if you're wondering why that's happening i just added that as like in the event that you want to cut a tree down on a hill you got time to let it roll for a bit you can also adjust that and the size okay that's so the choppable trees project is multiplayer ready and right now on the right side we can see that the client is chopping the tree we got some wibbly wobblies, location matching for the procedural mesh, tree falls down. And let's switch over here. We can jump over, chop the tree, and everything works. Very cool. So in our sliceable tree blueprint, we have some variables you can modify, such as tree hit points in the event that you want your trees to be stronger or weaker. You can also modify the axe damage in the axe blueprint. We got a wiggle multiplier if you want the tree to wiggle less when you hit it or more. And what else do we got? Anything more useful? I think that's about it in terms of modifiable variables. Yeah, so turned out to be a little more complicated than I expected. So the choppable trees object or actor, if you look at the details panel once you've placed it in your class, the really important thing here is that I've separated the mesh to be a tree trunk and the tree branches. Originally this was one mesh like as an object, but if you go into it, the like a third party modeling app, you can separate them and re-import them as two separate objects or, you know, static meshes. That way they can be chopped correctly because otherwise you're going to hit your branches and that's kind of just generally a pain. So you can customize that even further by like having some branches that you do want choppable to be part of your trunk mesh because that's the part that gets sliced. <clears throat> okay. So the materials for the tree have a couple of peculiar uh, custom things about them and it's very, we have this material function wobble you put this inside of your tree bark material and your branches material so that's a little catch that you might run into we also have the interior material for the wood in this case we just use like unreal engines pine wood example and i just put that in there for you um yeah so if you're doing a custom tree mesh, make sure you update the materials if you want the wobble. And the tree branch also has a dither material function, which is this dither temporal AA. You just multiply that by the tree color. So it's kind of a tangled mess, but yeah. So those are the materials overview real quick. And if you're trying to do this on your own without buying an asset, good luck. Godspeed and may the force be with you. Uh, it turns out you don't want to do what I did and find out after you build the entire thing that at the end you're like, oh, it, procedural mesh doesn't replicate by default. So in that case, you have to create a version of the procedural mesh on the client and on the server and then have them synchronize with each other because you can't pass the actual mesh over the network itself. So that's a big tip for you guys if you're trying to do this on your own. Uh, I probably wouldn't do it on my own again. It is way easier to just buy this asset and I know that sounds cheesy, but like straight up like save yourself the time and pick up this asset and have choppable trees in a way that isn't available on the marketplace currently. Like this was inspired by Farming Simulator. 
because I just played that and I was like, oh wow, you can actually take a chainsaw and chop the trees up and that's really cool. It's not something I see in other games. Other games it's just you chop it and it fakes it. It spawns pre-chopped logs, which is nice and convenient and saves a lot of time from a development perspective, but if you want to be able to do like custom procedural mesh cutting, it's a bit, bit more involved. So yeah, hope that helps. So that's a quick demonstration of Tropable Trees Project. You can find it on the Unreal Engine Marketplace. I'll do a tutorial video on how to set it up with a fresh project. You can find me on Discord or my YouTube channel and I try to get back to you as fast as I can. There will also be an Unreal Engine forum post where you can ask questions there if that's more comfortable for you. And yeah, as always, until next time, peace.